Hey you guys, it is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video and sorry I have been off the radar for the past 12 or 13 or 14 days. I have been kind of in a dilemma with myself whether or not I should keep this channel going and you know what guys, tell me down in the comments if you guys actually want me to keep on making videos. If they're actually important to your lives, please tell me. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video guys. I wanted to talk about No Man's Sky and I think that you should definitely play it again. This game has you know grown throughout the year and it has gotten just way better and with all the like the pathfinder update and everything like that but on the anniversary of the creation of no man's sky or the release of no man's sky we do have a new update called 1.3 atlas rises so in this update you got a graphics overhaul which i might add the graphics do look a little bit better it's not that like noticeable on ps4 but you know i noticed it a little bit also, we got new biomes, and I did actually see that there was a glass world, and you might know that reference from the uh, Waking Titan, um, you know, thing that they did, all that, all the ARG, you know. That's actually really cool, so if you guys want to go check out that Waking Titan stuff, like, I know a couple dudes, like, com make complete guides over it, like, Syrian, he made a guide over it and everything. And uh, also, we got Galactic Economy in standings, and that's something that we kind of had before, but it wasn't as, like, apparent, and it wasn't as influential on the game. And actually, it, it actually adds a little bit more depth onto the game, and it makes you feel like you're actually, you know, out in a galaxy and uh, stuff like that. So now, next up, we got missions, and there's actually a mission board, and it's pretty dope because, like, you can go actually have a reason to go do stuff or a reason to go kill sentinels or whatever because it puts a little backstory, a little spin off on it, and it's not just you mo moving around, like, for no reason. Next, we got complex farming which I never really farmed in this game, so it doesn't matter to me. But yeah, the farming is more complex now. Also, we can explore crashed freighters. So you know those really big, huge ships that you have, the freighters? Yeah, there's crashed freighters now. Also, there's 30 plus hours of new story and new lore. And actually, the Artemis storyline is really cool, and I'm, I'm still working on it. It's really fun. Yes, I have been playing No Man's Sky lately. Also, they have made the portals to where they can work. And the portals are actually pretty cool. You can go check them out in creative if you don't want to go uh, do them in the story mode or in the uh, in the normal like where you have to find all the glyphs and whatnot. You can even go and do it in the creative mode. So you, if you want to check out the portals, you still can. It's really cool. And also the Atlas Path is improved. It's I didn't I didn't play the Atlas Path yet, but I think that I'm going to be definitely doing that next. And also the terrain manipulation it looks really fun, and I have been doing that. I tried to make a big loop to go actually fly under in my ship, but you know it didn't work out. Anyway, next we have multiplayer, and this is probably the biggest thing of the No Man's Sky Atlas Rises um, update. This is really good because even though there's not a character model and whatnot, you can you still don't feel like as alone as you did before. And this is a first step to you know working co-op and stuff like that to where we can actually play with our friends and it won't feel as you know lonely and single player as the game does or did before this update and i just can't wait for this to actually start putting into motion the bigger multiplayer plans ahead next up we got low flight and this was actually a really big thing for me i want to fly under the like loops and stuff of the planets that's all i want to do that's all i want to do in this game it's all i want to do please sean murray can you do this because I tried to fly under these loops and if, you know, I, I guess I still haven't successfully done it. It just blocks me from them. Or it makes me fly into the side of them. It's annoying. And with that, we got planet dogfights. Planet dogfights are really fun. It kind of puts more aspect onto the, you know, dogfighting mechanic. And the ship combat is a lot harder. Like, it's a lot harder for me because used to I just used to shoot my phase beam at the ships and, it, and stuff like that so it would just sit there and just hit them and hit them and hit them and hit them <sighs> okay so that looks like it's it for the actual game and some other games I have been playing a lot lately I actually got Elder Scrolls Online I haven't played that yet I don't know how good it's gonna be but it's got a 46 gigabyte file and it's been it's taken all night and like it's still going so I don't know hopefully that's fun because I, I'm actually a dang it. And I never played Witcher 3 before I got it the other day. And I also got um, Horizon Zero Dawn. That game is so fun. Horizon Zero Dawn, I totally recommend it to anybody who wants to play a nice little fun action RPG open world type game. 
and uh, maybe I can talk about it or something if you guys want me to do that. Anyways, what kind of games do you guys want me to talk about? And also, it's my birthday. It was my birthday, you know, like a couple days ago on the 16th of August. So if you guys want to tell me happy birthday in the comments, you definitely can. Love all you guys, and I'll see you in the next video unless I stop making videos. So please drop a like on the video if you do want me to keep on making videos. See you guys in the next one. Peace.